Hey, it's Edie, and today I know is Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna keep this video really short because I'm sure you've got lots of things that you need to be doing today. But I wanted to just get you to think about something today as you are going about and buying the flowers and buying the chocolate and making reservations for dinner and all those kinds of things. Because it's Valentine's Day, because it's a special day of the year to acknowledge and appreciate your spouse, appreciate your partner, appreciate your significant other, um, you probably woke up today doing things a little bit differently. I'm assuming that things were a little bit different today or they're going to be a little bit different tonight in terms of the way that you're relating, responding to, interacting with your spouse or your partner. And what I want to challenge you to do today is take one of those extra special things that you did today um, because of Valentine's Day. Just pick one. Pick one of those things that you did differently, that you did extra. And what I want you to do is make a commitment to just do that thing. Create a habit where you're going to do that thing every day so that you're not just waiting for one special day to acknowledge or appreciate your spouse, your lady, or your guy. Now, I'm not suggesting that if you're going to buy your partner a dozen roses today, or you're gonna go out on a really nice dinner, expensive dinner, that that's something that you do every single day. I'm actually referring to some of the small things that you did differently today. So, for example, maybe you got up and you you gave your partner a hug before you, before you left for the day, and you don't normally do that. Or maybe you, you actually um, held that hug for a little bit longer than you normally Instead of just you know saying goodbye without even looking up from the paper maybe because of Valentine's Day you actually made eye contact gave a hug and then went about your day or maybe you spent a, sent him a special text today saying I'm excited about tonight um, or maybe you left them a note in their car or left them a note in their lunch or or something like that I'm talking about the little things because truthfully it's those little things that are done every single day that impact the condition of your relationship. It's not the things you do once a year on Valentine's Day or once a year at Christmas or on their birthday or on your anniversary. The big impact, the, the, the things that make the biggest impact on the overall condition of your relationship are the little things that you do every single day. What you do with your partner first thing in the morning, how you acknowledge them, how you appreciate them on a daily basis, and those things are small, but we, we take them for granted and we get conditioned to, you know, kind of manage the day and not take the time to acknowledge or appreciate our spouse or our partner. And we wait for Valentine's Day or we wait for the bigger holidays to do that. So that's my challenge for you is to, at the end of the day, kind of think about all the little things that you might have done differently. Pick one thing, pick one of those things and commit to maintaining that habit, creating that habit as a daily thing that you do with your partner. And I think you're going to see a, signif a significant improvement in your relationship. So with that, I hope you have an awesome Valentine's Day. Um, oh, and one more thing I wanted to acknowledge. The last video that I sent out several weeks ago before I lost my voice for a long time, I'm just, just getting it back. Um, I asked for some help with a project that I'm working on and asked for feedback from you in terms of your relationship and some frustrations you can share. And I just want to acknowledge everybody who sent me that feedback. It helped me so, so much and I really, really appreciate you for doing that. I'm putting together an awesome, awesome program I'm really excited about and I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you to those of you that gave me that feedback. And uh, again, I'm Edie Kay. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Happy Valentine's Day.